Welcome to the Eczema Warrior Podcast. I'm your host, Julia Chen. I'm here to help you heal your eczema naturally so you can finally live your best damn life. Many years ago in my own eczema healing journey, I was stuck and confused on how to heal my skin. Fast forward to today, after many lessons learned and lots of trial and error, I'm now living my best life and traveling the world with clearer skin. If you're an eczema or TSW warrior who desires a life of food freedom and is wanting to heal your skin without steroids while using mindset and manifestation as a tool, you're in the right place. Now let's get into it. This is episode 48 of the Eczema Warrior podcast, and I am freaking excited today. So I just finished two days of my live masterclass. The entire week, I have been talking all about it, and I'd recently just finished the masterclass all about healing your gut and your skin through the mind-body connection. For those of you who registered but you couldn't attend live, you should be receiving a recording of the masterclass very shortly to your inbox if you haven't already received it. And then everyone else who attended live, thank you so much for coming. I hope you learned a lot when it comes to your mindset. I let it literally went so deep into the mindset piece and everything about that. And I also announced in the masterclass that I've opened enrollment again for Clear Eczema, which is freaking so exciting because I have been working really hard behind the scene, you guys, on updating the modules, adding new modules. Over the weekend, I actually refilmed modules on root causes and I added in modules for mindset about the mind-body connection. Um, I'll also be planning to film some bonus modules as well. And this is all based on past client feedback. And so if you're someone who is interested in joining Clear Eczema, actually, this is the perfect time to join because of this launch. We're giving away a bunch of freebies. First of all, the first five people that apply for Clear Eczema will get $500 off the program. We'll also get a free skincare set sent to your home and a free one-on-one coaching call as a part of the program. So three amazing bonuses, $500 off, free skincare set to your house, to your home, and a free one-on-one coaching call. And it's only for the first five people that apply and book a call inside the program. So if you haven't done that yet, quickly (laughs) go to the show notes, click the link there to apply for the program and book a free call with me to join us inside Clear Eczema. I'm so excited for this new round. There's a couple calls that already came through and I'm excited to meet you and join us in this new round of clearing your skin naturally, learning all about the strategies I use to heal my skin and my client's skin and just have a lot of support and accountability inside the program. New modules. We have a nice community of other eczema and TSW warriors who are also on this journey with you. So you'll never feel alone. And it's my favorite thing to do. We have weekly calls together at the same day, same time, where we talk about everything and anything when it comes to eczema healing. We're holding space for each other. We're sharing tips and tricks. We're sharing wins and struggles. It's a nice little family, and I would love to see you inside. And this is a perfect time because 2024, we're actually raising our prices for clear eczema. So this round is going to be the only round we'll be giving this special offer, three offers, So make sure you snag it before it is gone. And of course, even more questions about how Clear Eczema works and if it's the right fit for you and what else is included. The show notes, the link will give you all the details. But if you want to talk more about it, ask questions, feel free to DM me on Instagram at juliachin.rd. But we can also chat in our free call as well once you apply and yeah, apply for the program. Okay, so besides those exciting news about Clear Eczema's launching, And my free masterclass that I hosted, I'm excited to talk about today's episode, which is all about my recent flare that I experienced a month ago or so, and how I healed it within just a few weeks. And I'm excited to share that because I know a lot of you ask me if I still flare and what do I do when I flare? And I'm always transparent when it comes to my flares. And, you know, eczema, there's no cure. Um, You can only put it in remission. You can get rid of the active flares and manage it holistically. And that's what I do when I go through flares. And so, yeah, let me share with you exactly how I heal this flare. So some context, when it comes to my eczema, 
over the years of understanding my body and learning about my triggers and my root causes, I now know exactly what causes my skin to flare. So specifically for me, my eczema always flares when I am stressed. But it's not like acute stress, meaning it's not like a stressful thing that I experience for like two, three days. It's more so stress that accumulates over time. So over the past couple months, it has been a little bit stressful for me. And so I noticed that my flares started to slowly creep up after maybe two, three weeks of being chronically stressed. And then it showed up on my neck. It started showing up on the creases of my arms, both arms, left and right. It's actually pretty itchy. And then I started getting lots of flares on the back of my knees and actually my thighs and my butt area as well. And it scared me a little bit, to be honest, you guys, because, you know, even though I've worked really hard with my healing and I've been pretty much symptom free for so long, it can still feel a little frightening when your skin's been so clear and then all of a sudden you're getting these flares. So I also started going down that rabbit hole of like, oh my gosh, is it going to get worse? What's going on? What did I do wrong? However, I've gotten a lot better at not panicking nowadays. And that's actually one of the strategies I use to heal my skin is to stay calm and collected. And so instead of me panicking, the very first thing that I did, basically step one, is I reflected on what has been happening in my life during these last few weeks. And I noticed that I have been sleeping very late, having very late nights out. I've been actually going out too much and basically just not spending enough time alone and practicing my self-care and having a proper routine. At the same time, I also noticed that I have been more stressed lately when it comes to business um, and some personal side of things. And so I had a lot of overthinking over these past few weeks. And that's when I realized that my skin flared because of my late nights and because of drinking alcohol on some of the weekends and also stress and overthinking. And so the first thing I did here is to reflect on what was going on in my life. And once I identified what was going on and became more clear on the causes and the triggers of my skin, that's when I started to take action. So because my flare was triggered by stress and doing too much and overthinking, the second thing I did was that I set boundaries. I realized that I was saying yes to everything. I didn't, I have this thing where I'm like, I have a lot of FOMO, (laughs) fear of missing out. So when I don't attend events and when I don't go out, I feel like I'm missing out a lot. So I really had to set boundaries. I had to say no, spend some evenings eating by myself and not going out with friends. And that was like one of the things I had to really pay attention to and be intentional about. Just because I'm an extrovert and I like to go out, um, I really had to not do that and take care of myself because I noticed my skin was obviously not doing well because of that. So setting boundaries was huge for me. And I also did some more meditations and journaling Because I've been so busy and stressed and doing all the things, of course, my routine wasn't ideal. And so I really had to focus on getting back into my meditation, my breath work and journaling and actually finding time in the night to do that and not making excuses for it. I started reading again. And that's part of my routine as well is to read my books. Um, And my books have been about mindset. So that has helped a lot as well. And the third thing that I did is that I focus on proper skincare. So what we put in our bodies is important, but also what we use on our skin is also very important too. And I've always found that skincare has been like crucial for my healing and using the right skincare depending on where my skin was at. So for example, when my skin is flaring, I have specific products to help with the flare. If my skin is dry, I use specific products for when my skin is dry. There are certain products that I use for dry skin only that I would never use when my skin is flared. And so by using proper skincare and applying it into areas where I was flaring, following the less is more concept. I've talked about this before where sometimes putting too much on your skin can actually cause more irritation and more flares. So I had to make sure to actually use less. And, you know, I only have a couple products because I'm traveling, so I can't be carrying a million things. But I've noticed my skin always heals faster when I use a couple products at a time instead of using too many things. The fourth thing I focused on is actually taking my attention away from the flare. So in the past, I would always obsess about my skin, wonder when it was going to heal, 
staring at it and like overanalyzing it, looking at the redness to see if it would go away. Now is that I actually don't even focus on the flare. If I notice myself looking at it or obsessing, I just go like, nope, you know what? I'm going to go about my day and distract myself and not look at it all morning or all night or all day or whatever it is and focus my attention elsewhere. Because the more that I look at my skin when it's inflamed, obviously it's not like a good feeling to see your skin inflamed. So when you're looking at your skin and you're already upset at the fact that it's flaring, but then you keep looking at it, you're basically just causing more stress on you because you're overthinking about this flare and it's just not a good feeling. So instead of me focusing on the flare and being like, oh my gosh, it's this healing, I just like trusted that it was because I knew my triggers. I started working on myself, setting boundaries. I started using proper skincare. I knew with time that it was going to heal and I have to just relax, go about my day, not obsess over it. And that helped me tremendously in the healing because of the whole saying, you know, where your attention goes, energy flows, right? If your attention is on your skin and it's like negative energy, then it's only going to attract more flares. Versus if you focus your attention elsewhere on how amazing your day was, on how you, you know, spend time with friends or whatever it is, then that's positive energy and that's going to, going to help with the healing process. So that's the fourth thing that I did. The fifth thing that I did for healing this recent flare is I released the when and the how. So I actually had no idea when this flare was going to heal. In fact, to be honest with you guys, I actually thought I was going to take a lot longer just because the flares were showing up in multiple different places. Like it wasn't just only my neck. It was like my elbow creases, both of them, okay? Left and right it was behind the knees. Um, It was on my buttocks. It was in between my thighs. Like it was low-key kind of spreading. So I was like, oh shit, you know, it's spreading. Usually that's not a good sign if it's spreading. You know, I really anticipated this flare to take a long time to heal. But I didn't think about it too much. I was like, you know what? I've healed my flares before in the past in just like two, three weeks. I could do the same for this flare because I know exactly what caused it and what triggered it. So let me just release the when and the how. Keep doing what I'm doing. Be consistent. Focus on my mindset. Obviously, the diet helped as well, but I didn't actually mention diet in any of these steps because I actually didn't focus too much on my diet. I just generally ate normally and ate healthy and focus on these five things instead. So the last one, which is releasing the when and the how and just trusting that what I'm doing is working and just not having so much control and obsession of when it's going to happen. And yeah, that's what I did. And my skin is now looking so much better. The flare in my neck significantly gone down. And the creases in my arms are no longer itchy. It was actually very itchy at one point. My legs are looking really good as well. So I'm really grateful for that. And I'm being very transparent. This is exactly what I did to help heal my flares. And of course, like to each their own and everyone's body is very different. Just because these five steps work for me doesn't mean it'll necessarily work for you exactly if you do this way. But Regardless, if you implement whatever I share on the podcast, whatever I share in my episodes, like it's going to help you with your skin in the long run, even if it takes longer. Like, yeah, for me, it took a few weeks. For you, it could take a few months. But think about like the things that I shared today, figuring out the causes and the triggers, setting boundaries. Like that's so important when it comes to healing your body. When you focus on yourself and the self-love and the self-care, of course, it's going to help your healing, right? Using proper skincare, of course, it's going to help with your healing. Finding things that bring you joy, not obsessing over your skin. Of course, it's going to help with your healing, right? So all of these things, no doubt, is going to help you. But, you know, like I said, everyone's body is very different. So it might look a little bit more different for you. It might take a little longer. But I can guarantee if you're consistent and if you work on your mindset in whatever shape, way, or form, it's going to help you in your healing. And yeah, that's basically. What I wanted to share today's episode on how I healed my recent flare and how I heal most of my flares, depending on the triggers. And if this resonated with you and you need help with this, you want to actually learn how to heal your skin without even needing to go on a diet or a bunch of supplements, which I didn't even mention at all today, then I would love to support you inside my program, Clear Eczema. We help you with the mindset piece. 
We help you with healing your body holistically through the mind-body connection. But of course, we also help you with finding your root causes, with the nutrition aspect, the proper supplementation. So all of that's also included. And again, we're doing a huge promotion right now. For the first five people that apply and book a call, you get $500 off, you get a free one-on-one coaching call, and you get a free skincare set sent to your home. And it's actually the same skincare I use for my flares. So literally has been a game changer. Yeah, looking forward to reviewing your applications. And don't forget to also leave us a review on Apple iTunes as well. I love you guys so much. And we will see you in the next episode. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Now, before I let you go, I want to let you know I have this amazing eczema visualization. This visualization has helped me so much when it comes to manifesting eczema healing, healing flares faster than I can ever imagine, reducing the itch, and just feeling great in my body. This is the exact same visualization I use for my own healing as well as my client's healing as well. And if you want to receive this visualization, then all you have to do is leave us a review and Tell us what you think about the podcast, screenshot it, send it to your email at hello at juliachin.ca and you will receive the visualization to your inbox. I look forward to seeing your review and we'll see you in the next episode.